Well, my friends, it's that time of the month where a new Android 15 QPR beta is finally available. Last month, we covered QPR 1 beta 2 that introduced some pretty big features like the ability to limit charging to 80%. The Pixel tablet got new lock screen widgets plus a new desktop windowing feature. And now that QPR 1 beta 3 has arrived, we have a short video for you covering a small handful of changes. First is the addition of adaptive vibration. Technically, this isn't new to Android as it was introduced with Android 15 stable, but it wasn't included in previous QPR betas, so this is basically just playing a bit of catch up. There is a small but important adjustment for the Pixel 9 series specifically, as the height of the status bar in all instances has been adjusted to match the larger front facing camera cutout. So now it should look much more uniform with the camera not being off center anymore, something we complained about quite a bit in our Pixel 9 reviews. Themed icons have seen a bit of an adjustment as well, nothing crazy, but in dark theme, themed icons have a lighter background, and in light theme, the icon at the center is a bit brighter. And lastly, the desktop windowing feature I mentioned earlier doesn't have any new additions, but upon updating, I can immediately notice general performance improvements, and the responsiveness is much better compared to beta 2. Animations are much smoother, and there's less of those random hitches and hangups, so if you are using the desktop windowing feature a lot, definitely give it an update because you should notice a difference. And of course, there are a ton of bug fixes, that address various areas in the OS, like notifications being displayed with cut content, various system UI crashes, and general stability fixes. So I'll leave a link in the description for you to check it out for yourself because there were a, quite a few bugs patched out here. And that, my friends, is everything new in Android 15 QPR 1 Beta 3. There's not a ton here, but we did want to mention what we've spotted here at 9to5Google just to keep track of all the changes. As I said, it's a short video, so I'm getting out of here, and big thanks to our channel members on screen right now. We're glad to have you on this journey and we appreciate every one of you. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.